be showing you a uh, how to create stickers on the Silhouette Cameo 4. I'll be using the Silhouette software and uh, let's get started. Okay, first things first, you want to go to the page setup, which is this icon right here, the little paper. So once you click there, you make sure and you choose your media size. It could be an A4 size or letter, whatever you guys have. Um, so just make sure you select the correct size. Once that is done, then I like to see the registration marks. So that way I know where um, you click here and then you click on the on. And this shows me where are my parameters and where the silhouette is going to cut. So it has to be, the images has to be within this red border. So this just gives you an idea. So aside from the page setup that is here, make sure you double check that the under file print page setup is at a four size or letter size, depending on what you're using. Okay, now let's open the file, the image. So you go to the image that you want to use and let's do the new free digital image that was given to us by Helen in the newsletter email and it's called Just One Trip. So you select the image, you click OK, and it gives you and opens up a new, a new page. So when that happens, sometimes that happens. You already have set up an untitled and then you just do the one trip, which is fine. It's no big deal. So you just go make sure, click on the marks, the registration marks, you click on again, and there. Okay, so as you can see, it already has that reddish outline so it already automatically outlined your image. So let's just click on that and let's put that as a different color in black. And now let's reduce the size because let's say I do want it, I do want some in um, vinyl size, right? So let's just put it down here, copy this and then paste it. Let's just do one more. Paste. Okay, so for this vinyl size, let's start doing, uh, let's do another one, another paste, because I will then want to put these in my planner, but it's gonna be, you know, the smaller size, like half an inch size. So let's do the vinyl size first. So it's already done. Now let's go to where it says um, offset. So you go to that little star icon offset. And what this is, it outlines the outer portion of the image. So you click offset. And you see that red line? That's going to be your kiss cut. To, for me, it's a little bit too close to the image, so you can put it at 0.055 or 60, which kind of seems okay, or even up to 70. 70 has been usually my go-to number. So click Apply. And either you can do this individually or a shortcut, which I just remembered, is... You group it, highlight everything, and then you group. And then you can copy and paste it. And now it pastes the image with the kiss cut along with it. And honestly, this is faster, this is easier. So now let's just put this here. All right, now for the little stickers you know like how Helen puts it on her um, the little sticker sheets I am going to reduce the size to a 0 0.5 which is very tiny little guys 0.499 that's close enough or one more what? there it is okay now when I'm dealing with this sizes at 
this is very small. I go to view, zoom, 150%. Okay. This gives me this. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. So here, click on the image. Now let's, it's already on offset. So maybe we just click offset. 0.77 in this small is way too much. So let's shrink it down to 0.55. or even 0 0.50, which is fine. I think right here is fine. So click apply there. So what I like to do is like those sticker sheets. Oh, never mind. Let's put it back. Okay, forgot to group. So let's do that to group. Okay, now when I deal with and I create sticker sheets, this is where I go to the right side. I mean to the left side and do the drawing tools and this is where I choose draw rounded rectangle. So I click that. Now you have the crosshairs. And I want it to be four and a half tall inches by three and a half. So let's go three and a half wide first. Uh, 3.5. Uh, almost there. Okay, 3.52. That's close enough. And then, oops. Click on the image. And now let is, let's just move it down to four and a half tall. Uh, almost there. Right there. That's close enough. So here, are these little red dots, as you can see, you can create the curvature even more. I kind of like it rounded, so this is perfect. And this is going to be an actual full cut, not the sticker, you know, just the sticker page. So this, I want it to fully cut through and through on the paper. So for me to determine the different types of cuts, it's best to change the colors. And I usually use the full through cut in a blue color. This tells me, okay, this is gonna be the actual, you know, being cut through the page. So let's just move it over here. Remember, as long as your image is within the red border, you're fine. Okay, so now let's get this guy and let's start copying pasting. So let's click here, copy, paste. And what I like about the software is that it kind of uh, lets you align. So if you see the bottom line of the image, it makes it seem like it's on the same line, straight line, not all over the place if you're crooked. So this helps a lot. Let's just do either four images or five images per row. Okay. So I think this is good. Let's move this over a little bit. Always determine the columns in the first row because from there I'll show you a quick trick as to how to copy and paste right away. Okay, this seems a little bit off. All right, I think we're good. So now let's select all of them, copy, paste see that and now those guidelines you see the blue vertical guidelines it's a good I really like the software it just gives you that idea of how to put them all in a straight line there it is three rows I think we can fit one more row and Let's see, there we go. That's good. So now you can determine how far they are. So let's say this one's too far down. Let's select up, okay. And I think we're good. Now this. Let's 
there. Now let's say I want to add that title, right? Like how she has it. This is just for my purposes. I mean, of course, her digitals are free. You are not allowed to sell these because these are her images and her images alone. But I want to see, you know, I want to remind myself, hey, this is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And what's the title of these um, image is. So I go to the left side and here is the letter A where it says for text. I click on the text and let's get started. Okay. Okay, let's just highlight it. Change the size to let's say 12. Change the font to Comic Sans. Okay, there we go. And let's continue typing. Copy Monsters Co. Okay. So now let's fill it in. Uh, let's say I want it in black, right? And then I guess you can go to where it says uh, open the fill panel and this little paint guy on the right side. So you click there and now you want to, I usually do it in black. And so you fill in the color in black. Okay, so now what I do is I just copy um, copy, paste. Now I'm moving this down here. I'll be changing the text to just one trip. Let's say I want this text to be smaller. So you, of course you can always, whoops, Change the font size, let's say to 10, there. Okay, now you have one sheet, right? Let's say, and your page can fit at least two because you already did the vinyls here, right? So now let's all select all, you click group. So now you're able to move this around to approximate. Make sure that you don't overlap with the marks, the registration marks, because the, um, this is a guide to help the Cameo to cut it. So now you select it, copy, paste. So now you just need to move it. Move it up this way. Okay, so let's see if we can shrink it a little bit. I guess because it's too big. So we can do that. Ah, uh, no, we don't want that. You see how when that was done. Undo, undo. Control Z, Control Z. Okay, so let's do this again. Delete. Ungroup. Okay, so let's shrink this one a little bit more. Let's move these guys a little bit more to the left. All right, now let's let's try this out. Let's just copy the border just to make sure that it does fit up. Copy, paste. Okay. All right, that's better. I think this is the size for this A4. Okay, so let's just delete this. Now, group all. Group. Okay, now copy. Whoops. Let's select that. Copy. 
paste. Okay, and you can see the guidelines is on the horizontal and vertically all over on top of each other, which is fine. That's what we want so that the cut will just be on the same line. So there you go. So here's your two sheets. So let's just say that you're going to create these vinyls, but at least I, sh I already showed you how to do the offset. So let's just remove this for now. And let's say you want four sheets per page, right? So you just paste it again. Okay, you move it down to where it'll go. And then paste again, another one. There you go. And that's it. Let me zoom out so you guys can see how it looks. This is what it's going to look. So once you have this, right, you have your blue where you're going to be cutting through the page thoroughly. And then you have the red where we're just going to do the kiss cut and not going to cut through the page. So once you have this done, then you go to print. Right. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to actually print the uh, the registration marks. So you click print. And here's where you put down the media type. This is very important. So mine is going to be kind of like an HP mat at 120. I usually put between 105 and 120, but um, it's best on 120. If it's a sticker sheet, it's white regular sticker sheet. So um, I always put it there. But if it's a washi tape, I put it under transparency only because it uses less ink uh, because the type of paper is different. So um, this is HP matte, 120 grams for sticker white matte sheet. And transparency is good for washi tape sticker sheets. So let's do the 120. And then you click print. So then you go to click send. You turn on your machine if you haven't yet. Then you go to line, this box right here. So it's turning on right now. You go to line. And this will show you all the different colors. So the colors that you don't want to have them cut is the black because that's what it came automatically with your digital. So you click it off, and all it's showing is the blue portion. That's going to become your sticker sheet, and the red that you're going to be able to cut, but not through the paper. So let's change the material before it was washi sheets, because that's what I used to, um, I, I created some, some other stickers on washi sheets. So now let's do sticker, paper, but it's white. So that's what I choose, sticker paper white for the red, sticker paper white for the blue, because that's on the same page. Okay, now this is very important. Do not forget this part. The blue, I want that to be through and through. So I will put it at either four twice, or five twice but for this one it's always best this is my go-to for the blade depth which means that how far you want the cuts in the paper and twice that's for the blue so make sure that it shows blue that's why it's important to have it in a different color so the blue is the outer that's what it's going to come out to the sheets now for the white I mean for the red is sticker paper matte white and right now is that kiss the blade depth it's only at two and only one pass so if you know any other sticker sheets from any other shop you know it doesn't go through the paper but it just the paper enough where you can just peel it off and it's a sticker and you just put it on your planner so that's what this means once you're done and you select which depth for the red, 
I usually put two, one pass, and the blue, which is a four and two passes, so it'll cut through the paper. And then you just click send, and you're done. So hopefully this will give you an idea or better how to, you know, the fastest, easiest way to create your sticker sheets. All right, have fun and be creative. Thanks.